Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cali2400. Uh, this is my first video on aquarium keeping for aquarium saltwater reef. Uh, I'm just getting into it again. I've been doing it for a while. I never really got into the technical aspect of keeping the reef aquarium and uh, all the other aspects of it. So uh, I just want to show you what I got so far. Uh, I got some recordia growing right here. Some mushroom, little polyp. And I've been uh, fiddling around with some DIY stuff. Um, got an overflow box here. Alright. This, this is what I ended up doing. I've got the wet dry trickle filter, which uh, I. I'm now deciding to change into a refugium and um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in, in a minute but here you see I got the eShops or eShops whatever you call it protein skimmer pat it on for two days and it's just going nuts man look at that crap in there it's beautiful I got a uh, UV sterilizer I got the phosphan reactor down there in the back I haven't got the Roa Foss yet for it, but it's coming in today. It should get a, a pump too. I'm using the Maxi Jet 600 for that for that Foss band reactor. And uh, my issue here was that I wanted a refugium, but I I had thought about dividing the wet dry before I got this protein skimmer into two sections on the left for the pumps, and then maybe make a division right in the middle here and make a small refugium with a light on top but um, it would have been way too small it wouldn't it, it just wouldn't have been it would have cramped all my space and now I'm just happy that I have space for my, my my pump plus I'm adding another pump in there and I'll tell you why back there I don't know if you can see I got a a pipe leading out I've decided to add a refugium on top of the wet dry and I'll show you what I did it runs, well right now it's not installed so it's a little floppy but I have to tighten it up. It runs on the wall and it goes to a refugium here. This hasn't been set up, it's not connected yet, it's just got a little pump working inside here. And the mangroves and I got some uh, some mud. It's on uh, the first day so it's still, it's still cycling, it's still settling. But I'm gonna connect this with a hundred and sixty gallon per hour pump and I've made a little overflow I don't know if you can see in the back right there a little overflow and it's gonna suction siphon out go down this tube go all the way down into my sump and in my sump I'm gonna have that power head and it's gonna come back I haven't added the other vinyl tube there's gonna be another vinyl airline tubing coming back and it's gonna go in here so uh, if you guys have any comments on how this could work or how it couldn't work uh, if it comes to power outage I do have a, uh, a ball valve and a check valve on the back there so that's not really gonna be an issue but uh, if there are any comments about because I've never seen this done but making this work just uh, Leave me a comment. Thanks, guys.